Hello all Blender fans. Today we have a little bit of an announcement. Just yesterday, later in the day sometime, uh, Blender 2.8 release candidate release candidate was re released and I guess I was a little repetitive but yeah it's it's out and you can go get it and so uh, first off in this video I'm just gonna show a little bit of uh, where you should go to get it I mean it's pretty easy but just go to blender.org and then you'll see this big banner across the front just click on it um, and then hit download the release candidate now essentially what the release candidate is here is it's the right it's the download right before the official release so I mean it kinda sounds like a beta which in a way it it kind of is uh, however it's like the very last beta before it comes to the public and so if you want to get it this is uh, going to be nearest to the full release as possible also uh, the release candidate doesn't change every day like it did with the beta with all the beta they they build uh, and compile the program the blender they compile it daily and so what happens is from one day to the next the blender software could be different than someone else and bugs could be fixed bugs could get worse uh, however with the release candidate what they've told us well if I go back here it says blender 2.8 is almost ready the stable release will be available in the coming days um, Anyway, oh right here, this is it. If things go as expected, the final release will be one week after. So for this week, nothing will change, really, in the release candidate, unless they make another release candidate. Uh, but day to day, it won't change. And then in a week, hopefully, we get the full Blender 2.8 with most bugs fixed and everything good to go. Uh, so right now, yeah, definitely go download the release candidate. You just click right, that, right like that. And give it just a few seconds and it will download it's pretty easy I'm just gonna show you exactly what you need to do real quick and then we can get into some of the, the cool features of this uh, Blender 2.8 And we, if you've paid attention to my previous tutorials I've gone over a lot of it because I've already just jumped onto the gun with uh, with the beta and I think most of you probably have as well however this is a really big step for Blender is this release candidate. So once that's done, I'm just going to drag it to my desktop here and just minimize that for now. And then you can open that up. And if you're on Windows, it's actually pretty easy. As well as on Mac, you can just double click. And if you're on Mac, you just double click and it'll uncomp decompress. There we go. And uh, if you're on Windows, you can just drag. You go into the compressed file and then you just drag it out. Makes it pretty easy. There we go. Now it's going to do its thing. And you give it a quick second and it'll be done. And then you can just delete this. And so let's. Okay, so now it's downloaded and, un and uh, uncompressed. We can just open up the file and scroll down here to the Blender. And if you give it a second, it'll pop the logo just like that. Go ahead and double click on that. You'll get this. Uh, it's just because it, Windows doesn't recognize it. Just hit run anyway. And. Let me pull it over here. This is what we got. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm just going to click off here and we're just going to go through some of the the basic things that um, are new. So if this is your first time watching a Blender 2.8 thing, this could be helpful. Uh, but just some of the, the, the neat things that Blender 2.8 with the release candidate should have nailed down by now. And in the week, uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, first off, there's a, one of the biggest and one probably one of my favorite changes uh, as I work with Maya and, the, and the other 3D software as well is we click with the left mouse button like every other program. We can select things like any other program. This is a huge and I'm really excited for that change and uh, not really excited because it's here. I just yeah, I'm happy that they changed that after 20 plus years of this actually happening. Uh, second is they have tools over here. So let's go into edit mode and uh, say we want to, I don't know, extrude a face. We can select all four of those faces. And if you didn't know that the keyboard shortcut was E, you can just come over here and click extrude region. 
and then it has a really nice interface for it like any other 3D software so uh, I think that's a really really key element especially for beginners and newcomers um, this is that's really nice um, some other things let's see one of the other cool things that is I'm gonna open up a new file real quick I'm just gonna open up one of these ones that they have uh, let's do the race spaceship one of the nice changes right here is that they ask or they so they say they state this file has not been saved yet and they ask do you want to save it and discard changes that is needed um, it just happens all the time you miss something and I don't know it's better now so uh, another feature that is awesome that we've been excited ever since they released that they were going to do this is EV and so EV is just another way of calculating the way the the overall scene looks and feels it's actually a lot like like game engines if you've ever heard of unreal engine uh, which I'm sure most of you have it is a lot like that kind of an engine where you get it, it calculates things a little bit simpler but faster way faster uh, instantaneously which is really cool so just so if you want to get into it just go in here make sure EV selected by default it already is and then just click that button and you get all these nifty little it looks almost like you just took a render end of it but you're in real time uh, if you want to get better things not better things better look at this you can just come up here and click on all these just like that or even easier just click this and you can see the objects without any of the normal stuff that you would see like in a scene like your lighting and stuff so uh, that's a huge uh, advantage in EV and as far as I know not many 3D packages actually have this uh, so that's pretty sweet Blender it has kind of a leg up on this so uh, um, looking forward to seeing how more optimized this can be as it's, uh, it's pretty good right now honestly uh, some other things that are awesome uh, are the the 2D the grease pencil sketchings that's finally a, a thing now and so looking forward to what people do with that I'm more of a 3D guy myself so I probably won't demonstrate too much of that with you as you probably don't want to see my drawings um, Another really cool thing, I'm just going to pull open, uh, let's open this. So if we go back, should let us go back. Yeah, here we go. We can click what's new in 2.8. Uh, if we scroll down, this is a really cool thing, is this crypto mat. Uh, software packages like Maya and Houdini, I think have had this for a little while. Uh, but essentially what this does is it allows you to render a portion of your scene after you've rendered the entire thing. So let's just say like you've created an object. So in this instance, you can see that they've created this. They've created their entire scene, but they want, they've wanted to mask this. And you can kind of do that with some of the Blender stuff, like the ID masks and stuff. However, this is a little bit more useful than the ID mask, simply because it has a little bit more options and I think it has more support for other software as well so you can actually export it and use that data in other more powerful solutions later I guess so this is a really cool thing um, that I'm looking forward to and th those are some of the, the biggest things that I realized and if you go th you go to the website you can look at all these the rest of them but essentially those are the big ones um, that I am looking that I like about it and I've tried out most of those and they work except for maybe the 2D drawing because I yeah just not my kinda thing uh, however it's really cool alrighty well good luck uh, hopefully you download this as this is what I'm going to be using for the next week for some of my tutorials until the official release is out and then uh, I will be using that the day that that releases and I will I'll keep you posted as well uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How